28.7 million cases, Americans are devastated by the COVID-19 pandemic. However, people are turning their backs on the solution, vaccination. In order for society to return to normal life, we as a community must work to get vaccinated. This brings us to our underlying problem. Because only 58% of Americans as of December 2020 would take the COVID-19 vaccine, indicating a lack of accurate vaccine information in the community, how might we, Project Vaccination Perspectives, increase vaccine awareness so that more people will want to get vaccines in the year 2020 to 2021? Vaccines are crucial to the preservation of human health and the maintenance of modern society. In fact, vaccinations are one of the most significant public health inventions. A study from Tulane University estimates that annually vaccines prevent 6 million deaths worldwide. However, for a current perspective on the issue, as of November 2020, when we first conducted our project, only 53% of Americans would readily get a COVID-19 vaccine, while Dr. Fauci, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, estimates that over 80% of Americans would need to receive it for the vaccine to have lasting benefits. In order to properly assess the initial perspectives towards the vaccines within our community, we then created a survey that asked the question, would you consider getting a COVID-19 vaccine and why, to get an idea of the various concerns and opinions of people such that we can properly address them in our project. After distributing the survey through social media, neighborhoods, parks, and businesses around the community, we were able to receive almost 600 responses, with 67.5% of respondents saying that they would get the vaccine, and 325 saying that they were either unsure or that they did not want to get the vaccine. After careful deliberation, we decided that to best advocate for vaccination in the Pearland community, a project should be deconstructed into three separate phases. These phases are working with experts, connecting with our community, and determining success. Working across a five-month time span, each phase would build upon the last. The essence of our project laid in three large events. An educational event at Clarence E. Sasser Park, a similar event at Silver Lake Community Parks, and a highly effective informational webinar discussing vaccination plans. We decided that our first course of action would be to get information from reliable and trustworthy professionals within the medical community. We chose to conduct two interviews, one about mRNA vaccines with immunologist Dr. Decker from Baylor, and one about the COVID-19 vaccination process and its medical effects with Dr. Blair from Johns Hopkins University. We also decided to expand our outreach by going online. We created social media accounts on Instagram along with an informational website. In our website, we included an information tab that contains easy to access up-to-date CDC information, such as links to reputable videos, informational packets, as well as our YouTube channel. Our Instagram, which amassed over 100 followers, features informational content informing our audience about vaccines. Finally, in order to inform the public, we plan multiple public events and webinars to reach a large audience in our community. Specifically, we organized informational presentations at our local park and paraphrased much of the information from our interviews and research into digestible information for all audiences. We also held an online webinar with special guest speaker, Dr. Shah, who is a vaccine expert. After a thorough presentation about vaccinations given by our team, the guest speaker answered the audience's questions to directly spread reliable information for the community. However, our many accomplishments came with their fair share of challenges, ones which we, as problem solvers, came together to solve innovatively and effectively. Our biggest issues were the fact that our timeline had been cut short due to COVID-19, as well as having to navigate through a global pandemic. Nonetheless, we persisted and moved quickly, holding online meetings and hosting socially distanced and safe virtual events. During the project, we also faced many limitations regarding logistics. After being told we had to rename our project halfway through, we got creatively and changed our project from Project Vaccination Persuasion to Project Vaccination Perspectives, keeping the same acronym. Overall, as a team, we overcame and persevered through every challenge we faced, ultimately making our project a success. Throughout the course of our project, we were able to effectively distribute information to a large part of a community with over 100 attendees at our events. It was very important that we distributed this information in a safe manner as we enforced social distancing and wore masks as well as the webinar being an innately safe event. Also thanks to the collaboration with known organizations in our community such as ALIS and Project Rise and Shine, along with our teachers, we were able to reach a greater audience. In the end, 96% of the attendees were willing to take the vaccine after the events, much more than our pre-survey, with 81% reporting that our presentation was very helpful and inspiring. In summary, Project Vaccination Perspectives has successfully achieved its purpose of spreading vaccine awareness through credible healthcare information and in-depth research. By increasing and promoting available information regarding vaccines, the health of the community members in the Pearland area can best be maintained, the effects of current viruses will be reduced, and societal progress can continue without restriction. We hope to continue working towards protecting our community with the power of vaccine knowledge.